The identities of all five victims in the Maryland newsroom shooting were released by law enforcement officials late Thursday. Rob Hyacin, Gerald Fishman, Wendy Winters, John McNamara and Rebecca Smith died this afternoon when 38-year-old Gerard W. Ramos opened fire inside the Capitol Gazette offices in Annapolis. Hyacin, 59, was employed as an assistant editor and columnist for the newspaper. Fishman, 61, worked as the editorial page editor and Winters, 65, as the special publications editor. Dailymail.co.uk I knew Pix 2018 629044 db e 469600578080 image of 41530241458116 Dailymail.co.uk I knew Pix 2018-629044DBE 49BA0000057801 image of 71530241473239 Dailymail.co.uk I knew Pix 2018 629044 DBE 4AC 900578080 image of 61530241466280 Dailymail.co.uk I knew Pix 2018 629044 DBE 49AE 0000057801 image of 51530241461867 JPG height equals 634 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book order in share copy link to paste in your message Hyacin's brother, Carl Hyacin, took to social media Thursday evening to honor his late brother saying he is devastated and heartsick over the sudden loss Hyacin's brother said in part the late editor was one of the most gentle and funny people he has ever known He spent his whole gifted career as a journalist, and he believed profoundly in the craft and mission of serving the public's right to know the news, Carl Hyacin said. Fishman had been employed with the newspaper for more than 25 years, according to the Baltimore Sun. The Baltimore Sun described Fishman as a quiet man with a brilliant mind, wry wit and wicked pen. Former executive editor and publisher of the The Capital, Tom Marquardt, boasted that Fishman was so smart that he tried out for Jeopardy twice. Marquardt told the Baltimore Sun he couldn't get accepted because they didn't like his personality. Dailymail.co.uk I knew Pix 2018 629 db DF19D000054 DBD F19D000057859443 image M21530237376403 JPG height equals 392, width equals 306, alt equals the gunman was also identified late Thursday as 38-year-old Gerard W. Dailymail.co.uk I knew Pix 2018 629 DBDF 89A000057859443 image 21135302747387867 
JPG height equals 392, width equals 306 alt equals Ramos reportedly sued the Capitol and threatened its journalists who exposed him for Facebook stalking a woman years ago class equals book border img share copy link to paste in your message Winters was a proud Navy mom who came from a strong, pro-military family, according to the local newspaper the staff member also worked as a Girl Scout leader and volunteered for the Red Cross before her tragic passing. McNamara, a sports editor, had been working with the paper for almost 24 years and was described by a colleague as the jack of all trades. Another colleague deemed him a loyal friend. Smith, who was a recent sales assistant hire, described herself in a Facebook bio as an endo warrior. Dog mom. Softball fiance. Bonus mom to the best kid ever. A colleague at the Capital Gazette said Smith was a very thoughtful person. DailyMail.co.uk I knew Pix 2018-629064 DBDF 0490000057850899443 Image M24 1530249197 51 DailyMail.co.uk I knew Pix 2018-629064DBD 539C00000578590999 Image at 25 1530249215055 DailyMail.co.uk I knew Pix 2018-629064DBD 381A00000578590999 Image at 26 1530249220821 JPG height equals 412 width equals 634 alt equals officials were able to identity the gunman several hours after the deadly attack thanks to facial recognition technology class equals book border img share copy link to paste in your message also late Thursday, the identity of gunman Ramos had been released. Officials used facial recognition technology after the suspect damaged his fingerprints in what was said to be an attempt to halt the investigation process. The shooting that took the lives of five innocents and injured numerous others has been dubbed a targeted attack against the newspaper. Authorities, however, have yet to release a specific motive. The gunman previously sued the Capitol and threatened staff members after they exposed him for Facebook stalking a woman back in 2011, it was newly revealed. Ramos's 2013 defamation lawsuit was thrown out on appeal in 2015 because he could not prove any information published in the Gerard Once to be your friend article to be untrue. Ramos had been armed with a shotgun and smoke grenades at the time he launched the attack on journalists inside the newsroom. Police found the suspect hunkered beneath the desk when they entered the office around 2.40 p.m. Thursday. Authorities recovered a shotgun near the suspect, as well as what they believed to be an explosive device. 